Are you looking for an alternative to rock wool for your hydroponic farming? In this video, I'm going to show you 12 different alternatives to rock wool that you can use for your hydroponic farming. Rock wool has been the go-to choice for many years, but there are some alternatives out there that are worth exploring. So whether you're just starting out or looking for an upgrade, I think you'll find this video helpful. Number 1. Coconut Fiber Cocoa fiber is a versatile and sustainable material made from coconut husks that can be used in various gardening applications. Cocoa core is highly absorbent, which makes it ideal for keeping plants hydrated. Cocoa core can be used as an additive to soil mixes or hydroponic media and is biodegradable. In addition, cocoa core may contain phosphorus and potassium, so gardeners need to adjust their nutrient solution accordingly. Overall, cocoa core is an excellent choice for those looking for a sustainable and eco-friendly gardening solution. Number 2. Cocoa Peat Cocoa peat is made from coconut husks and an environmentally friendly growing media. As cocoa peat is biodegradable and does not release harmful toxins into the air or soil, it is a great alternative to rock wool. It is also lightweight and easy to work with, making it a great choice for beginning hydroponic gardeners. You can use it to grow various plants, including vegetables, fruits, and flowers. Cocoa peat is an excellent way to garden without harming the environment. It is popular among hydroponic gardeners. They use cocoa peat plugs or coins for seed germination. Number 3. Perlite Perlite is an inexpensive and effective way to improve your hydroponic system. It is a versatile material that has many benefits in hydroponics. It is lightweight, which helps prevent overwatering the plants by adding more oxygen to the roots of hydroponic plants during hydration. Perlite can also help regulate pH levels in hydroponic systems due to its ability to absorb water and release it back into the solution when dry. Releasing water slowly back into the solution prevents drastic pH changes that can cause nutrient deficiencies or lockouts. Perlite is also sterile, so it won't introduce any pests or diseases to your system. Number 4. Sand Sand can be used in hydroponic systems, although it is not as efficient as other materials such as perlite or cocoa coir. Sand does not have the same hydrophilic properties as rock wool, so it will need to be watered more frequently. Real sand is also extremely salty and alkaline, so it must be washed and treated with acid before usage. Sand is not nearly as durable or efficient at nutrient management as other materials. Still, it tends to work well with drip irrigation because it can filter through quickly without retaining hydration for extended periods. Number 5. Oasis Cubes Oasis cubes are made of a water-attentive and soil-less growing medium, making them perfect for hydroponic systems. They come in different sizes, making them versatile hydroponics growing media. Oasis cubes are made of a foam called phenolic foam. This foam is used in many industries. They are reusable media for hydroponic farming needs like lettuce, tomatoes, and more. Number 6. Sponges Grow sponges are an excellent way to improve the drainage and aeration of your plant's roots, and you can use them in indoor and outdoor gardens. Grow sponges not only help to aerate the roots of plants but also provide them with a constant supply of moisture and nutrients. They are easy to use and can be reused for many growing cycles. Number 7. Clay Pebbles Clay pebbles are frequently used in hydroponic systems. They are hydrophilic, meaning they absorb water easily and have a high nutrient capacity. This allows your plant's roots to access all the nutrients they need. Clay pebbles are also versatile and can be used in various hydroponic systems. However, they do require frequent watering for the best results. Number 8. Growstone 
Rose stone is a type of growing medium that is made up of a mixture. You can mix rocks and gravel, sand, rock salt, clay balls, perlite, pumice, and vermiculite in different ratios depending on the hydroponic needs. It is an ideal growing medium for hydroponic systems as it has great water retention capabilities while still being easy to work with when reusing hydroponic systems for farming plants like lettuce, tomatoes, and more. Grow stone can be used to grow hydroponic plants without using soil. In addition, this will enhance drainage and aeration of the roots, which is essential for healthy plant growth. Number 9. Vermiculite Vermiculite is a water-attentive, soil-less growing medium that comes in different sizes, making it a versatile medium that works well for many hydroponic systems. Vermiculite is often combined with one or more soil-free growing media to obtain its many benefits. It improves drainage and moisture retention in any soilless blend. Vermiculite can hold somewhat more water than perlite and wick it upwards. As a result, vermiculite is an excellent choice for hydroponic systems. Number 10. Rice Hulls Rice hulls are a byproduct of rice production and are, therefore, both natural and compostable. Many growers use rice hulls in their soilless mix because they are sustainable. However, rice hulls should not be reused several times as plants may suffer. An alternative way to use rice hulls is by carbonizing them. Carbonized rice hulls make for an excellent growing medium in hydroponics due to their high nutrient content. The carbonization process increases the C to N ratio, making rice hulls an even more effective growing medium. In conclusion, rice hulls are versatile and offer many benefits for plant growth. Number 11. Sawdust Sawdust is perfect for hydroponic growth. It has good water retention capabilities while still easy to work with when reusing hydroponic systems for farming plants like lettuce, tomatoes, and more. The sawdust is versatile and can be used in soil, hydroponics, or aquaponics. Number 12. Peat Moss Peat moss is hydrophilic which means it absorbs water easily during hydration. It also has a high nutrient capacity. As a result, your plants can get the nutrients they need from the roots. Peat moss, on the other hand, is acidic and costly. Also, it isn't a sustainable product though it is versatile. We frequently look to new and innovative materials as hydroponic growers, You've been thinking about an alternative for rock wool that is better suited for growing hydroponic plants without soil. So, what is your choice for a growing medium? Please let us know in the comments section. Check the description and choose the finest growth medium for your garden if you need any more. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more on hydroponics.